before we go anywhere. The gate dropped for the 125 riders for the final time. There's the 212, but just behind them, the 240 or the 241, I think it was, that went down. Oh, 141, wasn't it? Francesco Belli. But leading the way, Nicola Salvini. He had Elias Escandel there, but the 772, the rider who finished third in race one, Yanis uh, Reslis, picked himself up but would not finish the race. All eyes on this battle for the lead, though. Escandel got close, but not able to make a pass. And in the end, the number 79 of Nicola Salvini was the rider who came out on top and was already starting the showboat for the, uh, the fans out on track. And he went on to take the win. Escandel was second, Gin Dunson was third, fourth for Ernica, fifth on, uh, for Skovberg. So Max Ernica wins it from Julius Mikola. Elias Escandel, Nick Salvini, Alessandro Gaspari. Janis Resnes, uh, third in race one, couldn't finish race two. And the championship then, looking like this, Elias Escandel, Alfio Pulverenti winning by six points over Alessandro Gaspari. Ernica moved himself up to fourth and then Zol uh, Noel Zanox. But Max Ernica, the Gas Gas Rider taking the overall victory here today in Trentino. Top three in the championship, and uh, there's your gold plate. There's your gold number plate. Right, I'm already out of my seat at the moment because uh, if we miss the start of the race, I can see Matthew Guadagnini running past my commentary window. Hopefully he doesn't want to miss the first corner either. But that was your top three on the day. Take a look at the highlights then from MX2 race one. See if we can make sense. Well, he didn't make a good jump at all, did he? Kai De Wolf, and he got buried at the back there. But up front, it was Sasha Koonen, who was quickly pushed back into second place by Thibaut Beniston and his twin brother, Lucas Koonen. And that's pretty much how it stayed up front. In fourth place was Simon Langenfelder, your series leader, coming into the second and final round. But all eyes on this battle here for the lead until this happened. Well, there was a stall from uh, Koonen, but it didn't stop him closing back in on Thibaut Beniston. Kept the Frenchman honest, kept him on his toes every time, and he said it in his interview. He, sometimes he could hear him coming close and then going away again and all that, but uh, in the end, it was Thibaut Beniston who hung on from Lucas Koonen, Sasha Koonen, Simon Langenfelder, and Liam Evans. And confirmation then, Thibaut Beniston wins it from Lucas Koonen, Sasha Koonen, Simon Langenfelder, Liam Evans, Rick Elzinger, Kaida Wolf, Cornelius Tondel, Ferruccio Zanke, with Kevin Horgmo rounding out the top 10 ahead of Andrea Bonacorsi, Andrea Adamo, Alexi Fueri, Valerio Latta, Jan Panzer, Mark Antoine Rossi, Oriol Oliver, Samueli Bernardini, as they say here. MX2 race two highlights. Sasha Koonen with a fantastic start. Once again, he led the way. Tom Guyon was around the outside in second. Uh, Elzinger was in third place. Lucas Koonen was in fourth, but quickly found himself into third. And then second, he then went after the lead. Found his way around the outside of his brother to take over the lead. And that was it. No one saw which way he was to go. Liam Everts didn't make the best start in race two, and uh, as riders fell in and around him, he was charging his way through, and he was bringing with him the uh, 516 of Simon Langenfelder. Sasha Koonen fell from second to third. Lucas Koonen, though, was fixated on the 25 points in the race win. Oriel Oliver and Cornelius Tondel, they battled. Tondel, though, eventually came home in sixth place. Final stage of the race. Andrea Damo went from third to second with this pass on the 44 of Rick Elzinger. Just. 
But it was 96, Lucas Kunin, who came home a clear winner over Andrea Adamo to win the race and the overall. he takes a second place trophy here today and likewise Lucas Kuhnen the Stan Husqvarna factory racing another winner's trophy for him Rasmus Jorgensen will take the manufacturer's trophy there or the team trophy if you like that's how they finish first second and third on the day and as if we couldn't get enough people on the uh, podium already, let's bring somebody else up, shall we? Just to give uh, Thibaut Beniston his gold number one. That makes it about 78 people up on the podium today. But Thibaut Beniston, Mott Trinity Yamaha Factory MX2, your 2023 Italian International MX2 champion. Here's what happened then, MX1, race one. Pile up into the first turn with Albi Ferrato at the bottom of it, but it was Jeremy Siwa who came away with the uh, whole shot. He led from Tim Geiser, Ruben Fernandez, and Maxim Renault, and it was the battle between those two throughout the race. It never went out to more than about two and a half seconds. At times, it got to within about three quarters of a second, but Jeremy Siwa maintained his composure and the gap over Tim Geiser. Ruben Fernandez, likewise, he did the same to Max and Renault. So uh, the two Hondas sandwiched between the two Yamahas, but it was Jeremy Siwa up front, just keeping a cool head and a cool mind. And he was on course to making it back-to-back -back wins in this International Italian Championship. When he did cross the line at the end of lap 17, it was Siwa who was victorious from Geiser, Fernandez, Renault, and Volandron. Give you the official confirmation then. Jeremy Siwa, your winner by two seconds over Tim Geiser. Ruben Fernandez was third. Maxim Renault fourth. Calvin Belandra and Benoit Paterel, Brian Bogus, Ben Watson, Albi Ferrato. Uh, here's the highlights of the race then, and I'm sure we'll see the low light of that race as well thrown in there. But Jeremy Siwa got off to a, a flying start. Two whole shots for Jeremy Siwa today. Uh, ben Watson was in there in second. Henry Jacoby was in third. Guadagnini was in fourth place. Uh, Valandran was in their third, fourth initially with Guadagnini. And those three battled with uh, the 303 of Ferrato, who lost two positions, uh, Renault and Geiser going by. Then Geiser had this moment, and we'll see. There was the moment he lost control. There was the moment he was a passenger, and that was the crash. And he was in sixth position at that time. Mattia Guadagnini had one or two little loose moments on the track, but... Uh, other than that, Siwa was uh, leading comfortably at the head of the field by about five seconds when eventually the race was red flagged. There will be no restart. That is it, I'm told. Jeremy Siwa, two wins out of two today. Ruben Fernandez, second overall. Maxim Renault, third. Ben Watson, fourth overall. Brian Bogers in fifth. Jeremy Siwa just dropping three points. A second in the first race a week ago, and then three wins in a row. Maxim Renault, second overall. And then, obviously, Ruben Fernandez and Tim Geiser, third and fourth overall. But, but the overall winner, Jeremy Siwa, two fantastic starts, two whole shots. And uh, two wins. Second race cut short, of course. But Vitaly uh, Tonkov, team manager, somewhere over there, stage right, stage left, as those guys appear on the uh, on the podium. So that's the top three on the day. And uh, Vitaly Tonkov will take a gold plate for the championship but also Jeremy Siwa as the 2023 Italian international champion.
Uh, presented by Eichmer will get a gold plate as well in the form of a number one. And uh, Jeremy Siwa, three wins out of four. The other result was a second place. And uh, the boss man from Eichmer on hand to deliver Jeremy Siwa that number one plate. Um, who uh, does what he has to on the podium. But uh, of course, our thoughts are with Tim Geiser at the moment. The race was red flagged as a result of that crash with the uh, five-time world champion. And uh, yeah, not the way we wanted this race to end because we were all looking forward to being in Argentina in three weeks' time. But there's your top three. Jeremy Siwa, Ruben Fernandez, Maxim Renault. And uh, in the championship, Jeremy Siwa, Maxim Renault and Ruben Fernandez. Yes, I mean, first of all, I hope Tim is going to be OK. I mean, you never sure. want to see somebody down because uh, yeah, it's not nice. Um, yeah, the track was a bit sketchy. I think it just didn't see a bump and, you know, that's how it happened. But yeah, for me, I'm super happy, you know. I, perfect day, two hole shots, uh, things are clicking, it seems to work. I enjoy riding, I I ride very relaxed, you know, and I, I enjoy it, not much to say, you know, super happy. I mean, it's just a pre-season championship, but better to win than anything else, so I'm happy. So we can say that Mr. Smooth is ready to fight for the title in a mixed GP. Ah, of course, I am, <laughs> yes. I mean, it's a few more weeks now, you know, but uh, I think we did, uh, we did our homework in the winter. So thanks a lot. Uh, congratulations for your title. Uh, see you in Argentina, of course, uh, and uh, good job. Thank you very much.